Hello and welcome to Super Science. I'm Petunia and this is my special pal Dorothy. Hey kids, I'm Dorothy, as you heard. And today we're going to learn about friction. Friction is a force that objects exert on each other when they rub against each other. Good job, gold star for you. Thank you, Petunia. No problem. We're going to learn about the four types of friction. Do you know what the four types of friction are for another star? Oh, I hope so. Okay, so right now, off the top of my head, the only two I know are rolling and sliding. Young scientist, will you help me with the other two? I can't think of them. <laughs> That's right. The other types of friction are static and fluid. So that makes the four types of friction. Static, sliding, rolling, and fluid. Rolling friction! Rolling friction is when one object rolls over another surface. Let's take another look at these other radical skateboarders. Dude! For these skateboarders, rolling friction acts in the direction opposite to the skateboarder's motion. So as the girls and the skateboards go one way, the rolling friction is trying to take it the other way. Hi again, it's Dorothy. Um, another type of friction is sliding friction. That occurs when two solid surfaces slide together. Let's take a look at the video of these two girls, give you an example of it. A trampoline is acting in opposite motion to the girls, causing them to slow down because of sliding friction. Static friction is a friction that acts on objects that are not moving. Because of static friction, you must use an extra amount of force to move a stationary object. Take a look at these furniture movers. <laughs> These furniture movers are trying to move that footrest, but the friction of the ground and bottom of the footrest is acting against their movement. Hi again. Fluid friction is another type. That occurs when a solid object moves through a fluid. Let's take a look at the example. Fluid friction includes water, air, oil, and any other material that flows easily. So as they come back down to the bed of the trampoline, they are experiencing fluid friction. You can change friction by doing two things. One, pushing the surfaces harder together. Or two, making the surfaces smooth or rough. To make friction stronger, you add traction to the bottom of the objects. That's why car tires have bumps all over them, so then they don't slide across the road and get into more accidents. To make friction weaker, you can add oil to a door hinge, which will make the door not rub against the wall any longer. When two objects are rubbed together hard, it heats up faster. But when they rub against each other softly, they don't heat up as fast. These two girls are cold. One is rubbing her hands together hard and getting warm. The other is not pushing her hands together as hard and not warming up. Let's get a thermometer and see whose hands got the warmest. Jennifer had colder hands than Angelina had because Angelina rubbed her hands together harder and faster than Jennifer, meaning Angelina conducted more friction. Well, to try out rolling friction, all you gotta do is ride your bicycle. For fluid friction, take out that buddy roller. For static friction, tie rocking without picking up your feet. Sliding friction, you can take out a very long slip and slide that you've been wanting to take out all summer and try sliding friction. Thanks for watching Super Science on the Discovery Channel. Watch us next week talking about gravity. See ya! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> flu a fluid. Stupid dogs! <laughs> tie car wait, when tie cars, uh, cars, <laughs> tires. You can change the. I just <laughs>
Uh. 